Okay, it has been announced that Michael Bay is currently working on a fourth Transformers movie that will come out in 2014. To which my first response was, why? Michael Bay, I'm sure that you're a really fun guy and that there are things in this world that you are great at. Directing movies is not one of them. The first one was okay at best. The second one was just unbelievably stupid. The third one, I don't really know how to describe it. Uh, if you ask Beavis and Butthead to do a movie, I think the end result would look pretty similar to Dark of the Moon, okay? <laughs> Now the reason why Michael Bay wants to do a fourth film is not because he wants to, he have already said that he sort of have grown tired on Transformers, but because the last three movies made so much money. So I don't really have much hope for this upcoming movie. Oh and by the way, if any of you guys like the first three movies that that's totally fine with me. I, I'm only spouting my opinion here, okay? But when I look at these films, especially the second and the third one, I just see a huge waste of potential. Anyway, I still think that if you can get some really passionate people to get involved with this project, you can actually make a good Transformers movie. The way I would do it is that I would do it more of a Decepticon driven movie. Because the first film was like uh, a race. It was the Autobots and it was the Decepticons that was racing to this Allspark. In the second film it was uh, the Decepticons that was trying to get this kid that was with the Autobots and uh, in the third one you had the Decepticons infiltrate the Autobots. So this time I was hoping for a more uh, simple kind of story. Uh, you know, the Decepticons has this evil plan and the Autobots is simply there to figure out their evil plan and stop them. I know that it sounds pretty predictable but really no one going into a Transformers movie is you know hoping for the next Citizen Kane the only thing we fans want is a decent action movie and I have three candidates for uh, being the new main antagonist in this movie because I don't want Megatron to come back from the dead. That's just, you know, stupid. I want the son of a bitch to stay dead for this one, okay? <laughs> I am hoping that we can get in some new Decepticon characters. And the first candidate I have is uh, Swindle. That, in my own opinion, is probably the most evil of all the Decepticons. I mean, as malicious as... Megatron and Starscream is, at least they have uh, some moral objectives. Swindle doesn't have that. He looks after one person and one person only and that's himself. Swindle is an arms dealer. He trades uh, alien technology and alien weaponry uh, that he later sells to the Decepticons and the worse the war becomes the more desperate the Decepticons becomes and they pay him even more to get even better weapons so this goddamn douchebag is actually profiting from the misery of his own species obviously these uh, transactions doesn't happen with uh, money it's with uh, uh, either it's a trading deal or he uh, pace with Energon. Mm, and there is no moral line that this guy won't cross. 
he is well known for selling out his closest comrades to save his own hide. Swindle also has a very charismatic personality. I imagine him as a 19th century uh, car salesman, only that this guy sells weapons of mass destruction. Actually, I, I would like uh, Randy Brooks to uh, uh, provide a voice for him. Uh, I, I just think it would be a, a nice fit for Swindle. Now, Swindle originated from a group of very old uh, uh, Transformers warriors called the Combaticons that Starscream later uh, revived to service his own uh, personal army. So Swindle is not just a very good uh, arms dealer but he's also excellent in hand-to-hand -hand combat and in uh, military strategy. Yeah, I used to say that uh, Swindle is uh, a soldier to body, but he is uh, a salesman at heart. <laughs> also, Swindle saves the best uh, weapons for himself in, in case he would uh, ever need to use them. So he is just loaded with a lot of really cool uh, gadgets and weapons. He has uh, force fields, uh, huge laser cannons, uh, electromagnetic generators, magnet generators, machine guns, uh, anything you can really wish for. He is like a living armory. Okay, now moving on to uh, the second candidate that is Dead End, one of my favorite Transformers. The reason is that Dead End is one of the few Transformers that actually has a philosophy. And the philosophy he embraces is uh, nihilism, which uh, is the philosophy that nothing matters. And he has really, uh, you know, dragged this uh, philosophy up to its upper limits, where he considered, you know, everything, everything in existence to be completely pointless. Dead End's uh, life view is that it, it doesn't matter what you do uh, because in the end you will die and even if you do leave something for the afterworld you uh, your planet will be destroyed by Unicron or uh, the sun will collapse and uh, Earth will be destroyed that way or the universe will implode in the end so it uh, really doesn't matter. That That's his viewpoint. Now the reason why uh, Dead End isn't among my top 10 favorite Transformers is because nobody has ever done anything with him. In the 80s cartoons he didn't do anything on his own. He just, uh, you know, followed the rest of the Decepticons uh, and whatever Megatron said. And since then he hasn't been in uh, any of the Transformers cartoons. Now he has been in uh, the, the comic books, the comic book that ties into Transformers Prime and the one that ties in with Transformers Animated. And he has always been this uh, really dark, looming character. But you know, nobody has ever stepped forward and give him his own uh, storyline or uh, make him to uh, the main antagonist. I can depict the dead end as the villain that wants to destroy all life on earth. From his standpoint saving us from another five billion years of pointless existence. Uh, that would be a, a pretty cool villain, a Decepticon with a philosophical agenda instead of uh, ruling or destroying the earth for uh, profit he would do it because uh, he would see it as the only logical thing to do now in the cartoons dead end transforms into a sports car but i wouldn't have any problems if uh, 
they decided to make him uh, to a helicopter or a tank or some Cybertronian uh, vehicle. The same goes for Swindle. Swindle usually transforms into an SUV, but I uh, have no problem seeing him as, uh, you know, something else. The third Decepticon, uh, I think, would be a nice wink from uh, Michael Bay to the Transformers fans, and that is uh, Cyclonus. And this uh, wonderful piece of uh, fan art is from Agent DC7. And uh, DC7 uh, shows us how it would look like if uh, Cyclonus kills one of the annoying twins. That would be a dream for most Transformers fans. But uh, going back to uh, Cyclonus and his background. Now, I don't know how many of you have seen the original 80s cartoons, but uh, in that show, after that Megatron had uh, disappeared, uh, anarchy began to spread among the Decepticons. They had to retrieve to a wasteland planet called Char, and they were practically fighting over the last remaining uh, Energon. That was until Cyclonus came into the picture and said, Hey guys, this isn't how you should conduct yourself. This isn't what Megatron would have wanted. And uh, he pretty much made all of the Decepticons come together and made them uh, share their Energon with him so that he could revive Megatron. So in a way you can say uh, sort of say that he was uh, the new Decepticon leader for a while. As I said, I don't want Megatron to come back to life again, but uh, I think you can do something similar with Cyclonus being the replacement of Megatron. I think you can even make it to uh, a sort of avenge story, because that was the way Cyclonus was in the cartoons. He was uh, extremely loyal to Megatron, but he could also take command himself and lead the Decepticons if uh, Megatron was absent. And uh, that was it guys. This is uh, the Decepticons. I want to see if they make uh, another Transformers movie. And uh, of course I would also like to see these guys in uh, the new animated series Transformers Prime. Uh, as usual, I would like to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, leave your uh, opinion in the comment section below. And uh, see you next time.